if you're not a fan of OP tactics, you're going to hate this. <laughs> Okay, so I recently did a video for FM Scout with my friend Matt's 42442, two Segunda Volantes, two wingers on attack. Really, really well. Won the league of Atalanta, Villarreal came second, Everton came for brilliant. I thought it was really interesting. Don't really see double Segunda Volantes. But then there came this comment. And nothing against Commander Raven Wolf. Just looks like another tick all the options set to attacking, to be honest. And I kind of, there's been, there's been some comments back and forth, I get the point of once everyone knows what works in the game, that's what they use for most tactics, whether it's 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3, 4-4-2, the same passing tempo, the same directness, the same sort of roles and positions, it's fair, but got me thinking, what if we did tick all the options and went for it, does that work? The answer is yes. <laughs> we'll get, we're going to show you the results, then I'll show you the tactic. Uh, Liverpool won the league, 97 points. What annoyed me, they were on 99 goal difference and they lost the last game of the season against Burnley. They went to plus, plus 98 goal difference. 34 wins, 3 defeats, also won the Champions League, beating Man City 5-0 in the final. Pretty pretty comprehensive with City having an XG of 0.41. Data hub wise 3.45 goals per game, 20 shots per game, conceded 0.87. Really really good. Pass completions not great, less than 50% shots on target but it was to try and see, it was, it was more of an attacking what we're looking for. 8 dribbles per game, cross completion 28%, Fills against, I think he fails, fills for because uh, get stuck in is on. Interceptions is high, tackles is high, fills made. Oh, they're bad at, bad at that? Yeah, seven, you know, okay. So the average is 13, which is seven fewer than us. And you'll always expect them to do well. But Salah, 48 goals, 18 assists. Manny, 18 and 23. Jota, 28 and 11. Diaz, 20 and 12. 26 for Firmino, assist wise Jordan Henderson got 13, Trent 21, it works right? And, and you've seen my test when Lewandowski scores a lot of goals, 90, 83 in this one, not too bad. Kimmich, 36 assists, Bayern lost one game, scored 138 goals, only conceded 26 which is mad when you see what they've done. Absolutely dominated, 4 goals per game, 4. 4.06, well that's going to be in the thumbnail isn't it? Way over the expected, conceded was even fewer than Liverpool, 23 shots, tremendous and this is what I loved. If we go on the goals, Lewandowski 83, Sani and Miller on 22, assists wise, Kimmich 36, Miller and Sani with 32 and 33. I think if you go on those three, so we've got like, 100, 120, 127 goals. 70, 76, is that nearly 200 goal contributions between those three? That's silly, that's really silly. But, it's all well and good. Bayern, Liverpool smashed it, but let's go and do it with some teams lower down and see does it translate, is it OP or is it just you're making the best players do the things that they're good at and then you get good results. Ran this with five teams, Burnley, Strasbourg, Real Sociedad, Genoa and Stuttgart. I think apart from Sociedad, those four, I think we're all slated for relegation. I know Genoa went down, Stuttgart nearly went down, Burnley went down. I can't remember where Strasbourg had finished. So Burnley predicted 18th at the start of the season, 13th. We'll, we'll take that, 48 points, it's not miles away from, from Europe. Uh, Veghorst got 21 league goals, no one else appearing on there. It was it's perfect for vote, isn't it? 24 goals, 5 assists, Dwight McNeil, 10 and 6. It, it, it didn't not work. 8 for goals scored. Uh, rock bottom for goals against. Solid. Oh yeah, con conceded was off the chart. But it, it didn't do as bad as you'd think. So Genoa predicted mid-table in real life, they've gone down, and we got them 10th with this. Once again, 7th in goals, bad at defending, and I'm not surprised at all. 
go Stuttgart predicted 11th and they came 6th. That's better. Still lost 12 games. 117, 56 points. Tigo Thomas, third high scorer, fourth most goals, defensively better than the others. What annoyed me with this test was I really wanted Sasa Kaladzic to, to play as the big lad up front, but they played Tiago Thomas, he scored a lot of goals, fine. A decent amount of shots, defence not great, scored goals. Strasbourg predicted 10th in League 1, and they came 6th. Strasbourg so beating the expected. Kevin Gamero scored 31 goals, and he's not the player I would have played in that role, we'll get to that. Uh, 68 goal scored, puts them third, defensively, middle of the pack, to be expected. I thought big Ludovic Jork was going to play. Gamero did fine, 33 goals, fair enough. I wonder how to do for Jork, how would I played him? And then we have Real Sociedad, predicted to finish 6, this is no mugs. Like easily Valencia, Betis, Sevilla, Villarreal, all really good teams, third. Third with this silly tactic. Ah, oh, whoever did drew 12 games. It was only two points behind. Uh, Isaac with 18. Lenormand with one of the best average ratings. David Silva, 15 assists. Lenormand, the player of the matches, probably had to defend quite a lot. Goals for the most in La Liga. La Liga. There's, this is there's not, not a mug teams here, is there? Middle of the pack for goals conceded. <laughs> goals per game, great. Shots, really good. Defensively, not great. And you'll see why. This is what we've done. The thinking was, let's take that comment, let's tongue in cheek, let's do it, let's turn everything up. So, advance forward, two wingers on attack, two CMs on attack, a regista as it's the most attacking role we can get. And you'll see, I didn't even add player instructions to any centre backs as well. Two centre backs on defence, standard, and then two full backs on attack. And we've used uh, Stinger, I'll put it on your ball. Stinger did a video on inverted wing back versus full back and attack with this cuts inside with the ball so when these guys end up here the full backs when they get the ball come in there and sort of overload really good check out his video link will be below yeah so we played it on very attacking because of course played very wide because i wanted to stretch the defenses to get those cmo attacks in pass it into space slightly more direct extremely high left all the the final third stuff counter press and counter why not distribute quickly to the flanks yep and then much higher much higher much more often trigger press prevent shock if you can get stuck in and i've tried to be combat defensively obviously that didn't work either but there you go it's like can this work yes and if you got better players to fit those roles you could do even better liverpool smashed it nearly scored they only had a hundred plus goal difference in the Premier League. Download it if you want, the link will be below. I've called it Tick All the Options, 433. Uh, but it just shows what you can. You can gamble and get goals. And if you score goals, you may concede, but you'll get results. This game, I think people would love to create different tactics, like low box, slow pace. But it just doesn't, if you want to win, it just doesn't work. It doesn't work. Things that are meta are meta for a reason. If you want to win at this game, so people want to create tactics, 
to help people win. Recreations may be different, but I think there's still a bit of a poetic license taken to make them still work in this game. All those roles work. Download it if you want, have some fun, play some scenes with it, score some goals, enjoy yourself. And that's it. Let people play the game how they want to play it. I, I get if you want different kind of videos, I get it. And I'm going to try and create some tactics with a bit more nuanced instructions rather than all the normal ones. So hopefully you'll see them on here on an FM Scout. So go check them out. But that'll do it. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed this. Who doesn't enjoy goals, eh? Nice quick short one for me, Andrew. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.